Hey Web World, Scotty D. Thanks for stopping by Interface Webcast. Another video that's out of the ordinary for this channel, but it's kind of on a theme based on one of our other videos about the Delta Bentley 4-in-1 crib. This is the Delta Bentley 6-drawer dresser for children. It's a very heavy, uh, solid wood piece of furniture, and it matches the mocha chocolate dark coloring of the four-in-one crib that I showed you in another video, and that link is in the video description below. So we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing of this, show you how it's packed, show you how to put it together, and then give you my review of it. First and foremost, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Uh, it's got two arrows right here, I'm assuming because it says right here, heavy, uh, that that is the top of the dresser right there, but uh, uh, one only knows because it's blacked out here. Uh, there's really no instructions on what those arrows mean. I'm just assuming that that's the top of the dresser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top of the box off, then I'm going to stand it up just in case that is the top of the dresser. I can easily slide it out because I can tell you this guy is heavy. Uh, it doesn't say on the box how much it weighs. Uh, let me see here. Yes, it does. 129 pounds. This puppy is solid. So. Let's go ahead and open up the box here. We had this one delivered, uh, was bought online through uh, Target.com, and we had it delivered right to our home. Uh, delivery was not that expensive, which I was very happy about. And uh, so what you have here is you have your styrofoam coating on here. Uh, let me get my scissors to take off the top styrofoam coating. One from here. Uh, looks like we have to assemble some drawers. I can see some drawer fronts in here, so let me just put this out of the way. Solid drawer fronts. Um, this is not pressed wood. You can see from the back, uh, nice solid wood with uh, nice dado joints here. Um, solid structures and, and, and nice screws. Nice finish to the front. Hopefully you can see that well in the camera. And uh, that is one of the drawer fronts. So we got some drawers to put together apparently. So we have all six drawer fronts and we've inspected them. They look good. Assuming these are gonna be like in between the drawers, but we'll find out that once we get to the instructions, which I don't know why they do this, but uh, every manufacturer I've ever bought a piece of furniture or anything that needs to be assembled that's big, they stick the instructions at the bottom of the box. Why? <laughs> I don't know. If I can make any recommendation to Delta or any other manufacturer, stick the instructions on the top. Then you can work from the top to the bottom of the box and you don't have to take everything out. Just would make sense. And one more. This is probably just based on what it looks like. It looks like the bottom front of the dresser near the floor. So kind of makes it look nice. Again, solid wood. All of the Delta Bentley uh, product lines are solid wood, so you get a nice quality product for the money spent. Uh, you can always go with a cheaper product with that pressed wood, uh, but my experience with the pressed wood products is uh, you get what you pay for. Um, you know, nothing wrong if you like the pressed wood stuff. Uh, in fact, uh, some of the products that you find will have pressed wood included with them. Um, these, I no doubt, will find some pressed wood in here, but the pieces of wood that face you uh, are going to be um, solid. Um, looking at this one, it looks like this one might be pressed um, as part of the structure. So there you go with that. I guess I spoke too soon on the full solid wood. Uh, two pieces I pulled out that are pressed wood so far. Uh, these are solid wood. So far, I've only found a couple of pieces, and I'm not quite sure where they go to. Probably inside separators um, that are particle board or uh, something of the sort. Definitely do take the time to pack it good. That's nice. Looks like a side. Oh, look, that's nice. They give you the rails already installed. That's a good thing. This is a solid piece of wood there. Looks like that could be the front. Maybe the 
left side there. And in the middle of the box, interesting, in the middle of the box I find the instruction and also the hardware. Man, that is a lot of hardware. This is going to take a while. You can see they do provide a screwdriver. My experience with these screwdrivers is, eh, get your own screwdriver. Uh, they give you two different Allen wrenches on here, a bunch of screws, fasteners, uh, washer sets, bolts, um, barrel nut, plastic washers, uh, wood dowels, so everything you need to assemble um, the dresser itself. The instruction booklet right here, the Delta Bentley 6-in-1 dresser, just eight steps. A lot of little pieces to put together, but just eight steps on this dresser to put together. So I'm going to set my instructions off to the side and finish unpacking this. I grew up playing with Legos, so I really enjoy putting furniture together for some weird, twisted reason. Kind of like a big Lego set. If I could just get past the styrofoam! There's a box down here at the bottom of some sorts. I have a white piece of wood here. Interesting. Don't know what for, but it has a letter V on it. So, I guess we're going to find out what that goes to later on in the installation. We have here, we have uh, drawer pulls in this bag, along with a strap that you can attach to a wall stud that would prevent this whole dresser, once it's assembled, from being pulled over and onto any small children. So definitely a nice uh, afterthought um, from Delta Bentley to... Uh, help child-proof the room and keep big heavy dressers such as this 129 pounds falling on a small child. So I like that. Thank you so much for including that. If you can't find a uh, a wall stud to connect it to, uh, definitely make sure you get a uh, an appropriate um, wall anchor that supports the amount of weight that this dresser is. Put the wall anchor into the uh, sheetrock and then attach the strap to the wall anchor. But again, make sure that it will support the, uh, the full capacity weight of the dresser itself, which you can tell by the box, was 129 pounds. Only eight steps. There's a lot of parts of these eight steps. These are part R. So again, the inside of the drawers are not going to be stained to the same color as the outside. So just kind of sit this off the side. These are sanded nice and smooth, uh, but they are not coated with any um, waterproofing material that I can tell. No urethane or anything. They just uh, look like they're nice, smooth down, solid wood pieces. And you can tell that they're plywood, so if I get close enough to the camera, you can tell that the uh, side of the, um, the drawer frames are going to be plywood, which is nice, durable. Um, we'll set these off to the side. We have some more drawer pieces. Very well thought out. I like the fact that um, they already have the rails assembled onto the pieces of wood. Makes it a lot nicer and quicker for the assembly. Uh, these pieces typically uh, don't get put on right, so I'm hoping that the factory um, put them on correctly and lined them up right so that the drawers will fit in correctly. Remember, there's six drawers to assemble here, so I'm going to show you how to assemble one, and uh, then I will fast forward through the rest of them. My guess is that, you know, with the amount of pieces on here, it's probably going to take a good 45 minutes to an hour to assemble this. So just give yourself plenty of time. Uh, check your patience at the door. Uh, you're assembling furniture. You don't want to get frustrated and damage anything uh, along the way. So uh, make sure you use the right tools and uh, everything will be just fine. Um, all in all, the, uh, the unboxing uh, went uh, fairly smooth. I've inspected all the pieces. No major damage uh, that I can see, uh, no dents, dings, scratches, scrapes, anything like that that would warrant uh, returning anything um, to the, either the manufacturer or the people that we bought it from. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and clear up this mess and start the assembly. All right, so we're on step one. Step one is pretty basic. You're going to need your left and right sides as well as the center uh, divider. Now. If you're looking for this inside of the packing, it's the uh, piece that's inside of the box that said divider, don't open up with any sharp objects. So that's what's in there. So if you're looking for it, that's where it's located. You're also going to need the two 
um, and only two pieces of particle board in the entire uh, structure of this uh, dresser, and that is going to be part and parcel of the uh, the center piece right there. Um, you're also going to need your um, utilities and, and hardware for the uh, instru uh, installation of it. Uh, specifically, during step one, you're going to need the wooden dowels because as step one says, we are going to be installing wooden dowels into all of the pieces of hardware and getting them ready for assembly. So let's get started. Uh, they don't call for any ha uh, hammers or, or anything to tap these in, so uh, we'll see how these things actually fit. So right here at the top, uh, this is the bottom there's no screw holes and plus you see uh, at the bottom of this piece you'll see uh, the plastic or Teflon or nylon uh, footing so that is the bottom the top is right here and it's telling me to put a dowel into uh, the center of each one of the tops so there's one um, let's see what we have to do here we have to actually place uh, wooden dowels in not only the top but also the bottom of the divider piece. Now the divider piece comes pre-assembled just like this so you don't have to worry about any of that. It also has the rails already installed onto this so very very nice. Um, now it says on the top it needs one uh, on each side and on the bottom it needs one on each side. Now you're probably asking which hole do I stick it in if there's four holes. Well one of them is threaded one of them is not so that's the one you're going to put, put the uh, wooden dowel in and that holds true for the top and bottom. This is part labeled C. If you're wondering what uh, side goes up, typically uh, in these situations, uh, you'll see that the rail is on the top, uh, or the, the, the roller is on the top, and that allows for the drawer, which has the roller right there, to link up into there, and then you have a roller on the top and bottom. So hopefully I've got that right and uh, we'll see if I'm wrong uh, towards the end, but th typically that's how it goes. So we have the two sides, the center divider, the, um, the part E all has dowels into it. Now I need to go through all of these little sections that we looked at earlier. These are the L pieces, and I need to put wooden dowels into these, and these call for two dowels on each side. And don't sling it over too hard like I just did or a dowel will fly out and then you'll have to find it. I guess if you really wanted to, you could glue these dowels in. Um, I don't see anything on here that says don't use glue, but I guess you could if you really wanted to. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to follow the instructions 100%. And then finally, part G. Same thing, dowels on the side. And that uses up 100% of the dowels uh, in the hardware kit. So step one is to get all of the dowels installed and we've done that, we've got all of the dowels installed and now we're gonna move on to step two, which is the assembly of parts F, H, uh, C, uh, G, and J all together, which uh, part and parcel is this piece right here, the center divider. On the center divider, the wheels face down uh, according to the instructions. So we're going to go ahead and call this bottom and this top. All right, so now we have the beginning part of the structure. The dowels are holding it kind of in place while we're getting everything else ready. Uh, the bolts are in. Uh, created kind of a an eye structure beam for the uh, the rest of the uh, the dresser itself. So that completes step number two. So we're going to go ahead and move on to step three, and that is connecting the side pieces to the overall structure using the L uh, boards right here, um, which will be uh, the guides, the bottom pieces of each drawer. So we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so while the instructions tell you to put these bolts in, um, what it fails to really tell you is how far you need to screw these things in. Um, 
you really need to have them out quite a bit in order to be able to accept the, uh, the crescent washers. So that's what I'm doing right now is I'm loosening them back up so that I can get the crescent washers in place. So that completes the basic frame of the dresser. You can stand this guy back up to its normal area. You can see kind of how big it's going to be and the structure of it. So now we have to go on to the next step. Step four, which is the sides. We did that. Now we're on to step five, which is the bottom piece that we looked at, the nice, uh, molded piece or the uh, routed piece right here. This is going to go on to the front so we have to install that now and there are two nice pieces that go on the sides so this will go on the front and then there are two pieces right here that are going to go on to the sides. So that completed step number five, which was right here. Now we're gonna move on to step number six, and that's placing the top of the dresser onto the body, and that's a big solid piece of wood as well. You're not seeing things, yeah, there are two pieces of wood here that weren't here before. I happened to be looking around and I noticed that I still had the two pieces of pressed wood uh, the only two pieces of pressed wood that come with this entire unit and I was like, well, where are these supposed to go? Uh, and I happened to look back a couple of steps ago and I was supposed to insert them while we were sandwiching the sides in together and I didn't do that. Uh, but I didn't have to uh, disassemble the entire unit. What I did was I loosened up the uh, bolts for the, um, the uh, crescent washers uh, on this side and this side and then loosened up uh, one of the bolts here and one of the bolts over here that was holding the top piece in and allowed me to flex the board out just enough to get this piece in and this piece is held in with dowels so there's uh, a dowel here and a dowel here and then there's another wooden dowel here and a wooden dowel here so there's four dowels on each one of these pieces of pressed wood I was able to slide it in and press the wood out very carefully, might I add, so I wouldn't crack the wood, uh, and slide the dowels in, uh, push the wood back together, tighten everything back up, and then we're back into the steps where we're supposed to be at, which currently, right now, uh, we're supposed to be in step number seven. Uh, I had to backtrack to step number four, and I didn't really pay attention close enough but there was the board back over here on step four. So be careful if you are buying this one to follow all the steps so you don't have to do the oopsie uh, correction method that I just did, uh, but not a big deal. I got it together without uh, cracking any wood and I didn't have to disassemble the whole thing. So on to step number seven. All right, step number seven uses these really thin back panels uh, marked with the letter M and that is gonna be secured to the back here with uh, 20 15 millimeter black panel screws. Um, now, you can either choose to have this facing inwards or outwards. It's the style, uh, the lot number, uh, where it was made, the fabrication number and all that stuff. You can choose to have that facing out or in. Um, there's really no right and wrong side to this. I'm gonna to choose to have this facing in, and if I need to get this information, all I have to do is pull out one of the top drawers, uh, respectively, and I can read this information off. But that way it makes it look a little bit cleaner on the back end. And that finishes step number seven. Step number eight is putting together the drawers. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin this dresser around. Let you see up to this point, we've got all of the back completely sealed in. The top is secured on. Uh, the only two pieces that are, uh, this is like a uh, fiber board, uh, like a, almost like a, a cardboard back here. It is wood, uh, but it's that pressed uh, thin uh, veneer wood. This is uh, fiber uh, board down here. The rest of it's solid wood on the show unit. So 
good construction on this, good quality product. And you can see the front. We've got six drawers that are going to be going into here, and I'll be installing those after I get those put together. Because as we talked about at the very beginning, they give you all of the drawer pieces. These are solid um, wood fronts, and they've got solid wood uh, plywood sides and backs. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and start that installation right now. All right, step number eight, as I mentioned, is the drawers. So we're going to go ahead and start to assemble the drawer frames. I'm going to do one on camera, and then I'm going to finish the rest of them uh, off camera because I don't think that you want to watch me put together six drawers. Uh, but I will show you how to put together one of them, and then we'll go ahead and install them into the frame of the dresser. So let's get started. What we're going to need first is to make sure that we have a front of the drawer ready. That's the last part of the step to assemble of the drawer. We're going to need a side. We're going to need uh, an S and a T. Um, each one of those represents a left and a right side. Uh, as you can see, this is the S side and this is the T side. And what you do is you assemble it like that. So the um, wheels are respective on both sides. So we're going to go ahead and set those off to the side. We do know that we need one of those each. And we also need a R. And the R is the back piece right here. Now all of these are plywood, as I mentioned before at the very beginning of this. You can see the plywood. It does have a flat end here, all 90 degree angles and a nice rounded edge here on the top. So that is your top edge. Going to be really nice looking when it's inside of the unit. And lastly, what we need is we need a V. This is the small pieces. And we also need one of the bottom drawer pieces. So that is all of the pieces that make up a single drawer. You have the bottom, you have this piece. This piece is actually a stabilizer that sits underneath this, um, it makes it a little bit more rigid because, as you can see, it's uh, pretty flexible. So you want to strengthen that up, and that's what this uh, V piece right here does. You have your back panel, your two side panels, an S and a T, and a front panel. Remember, the front panel is the last thing you build onto the drawer. So let's go ahead and get started. Next thing we have to do is go ahead and slide in the front of the drawer. Now you'll notice, let me bring this up here to the camera, you're wondering, all right, how are we going to attach this um, stabilizer piece of wood to the front without destroying the front of the drawer and putting a screw through it? What they did is they notched it out right here to where you can actually slide it in and that uh, stabilizer piece of wood is going to go in right there. Very thoughtful. So. Let's go ahead and slide it in and secure it in with a couple more screws from the side. And that locks it all together like a big Lego block. And that's all it takes. There's the drawer. Nice stabilizers, all that. What I like about this thing is it's all screws, which is going to hold together a lot better over time and uh, not fall apart. And if things do become loose, we can back out one of the screws, maybe put some wood glue in over time or, or whatnot. So I like the fact that it's all solid wood except for a couple of the back pieces, which is not really a big thing. Um, step number eight is um, continue to put on the drawer knob. So I'm going to go ahead and do one of these so you can see the drawer knob and we'll go ahead and put one on for you. It's called step eight, continue. And that's where this little flat screw comes into place. So you have six of these, six drawers, and six matching uh, drawer knobs uh, or drawer pulls. So I'm going to go ahead and put that through. A lot of times you can do this by hand without any screwdrivers. If you can't quite get it tight enough, you can take your screwdriver on the back and hold the screw steady. And there is a complete drawer, 
Let's go ahead and slide it in place so we can see what it looks like. And there you have it. So we're out, we're in. So I've got five more of these to do and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all complete. So there you have it, all six drawers assembled and installed into the unit. And I gotta tell you what, I'm extremely impressed with this dresser. For the money spent, it's well worth it. This is solid wood. I mean, half the time when you buy a, a dresser for kids, it's pressed wood uh, all the way around and it falls apart in a very short amount of time. I, I have a strong feeling that this is gonna last for a very long time. Um, so I wanted to go over the dimensions for you just in case you are considering this dresser for yourself and you want to make sure that it's going to fit into your space. Um, let me get the uh, tape measure here. And from side to side, left to right, you're looking at around 47 and a quarter inches um, from left to right. Front to back, you're looking around 19 inches. And from the floor up to the top of the dresser, about 33 and a half. And the drawers are really nice and spacious, uh, usable space in the drawer, uh, left to right about 18 and 3 quarters, front to back around 13 and a half, and uh, the depth from bottom to the top of the dresser drawer is about 5 and a half inches. So very spacious, you get six of them. Uh, one of the things that I noticed about this, and it's a kid's dresser, that's how this uh, is being marketed, is I didn't like that the dresser drawers don't have soft stops. And what I mean by that is uh, if you have a young kid and their hand is here and somehow another uh, person accidentally pushes on the drawer uh, and shuts it, could be another kid, could be the kid itself having his hand here, reaching in to grab something and pushing it back. There's nothing that's going to stop this drawer from doing this. And that could really hurt a small uh, pair of hands. So. I really wish Delta would have thought about putting soft stops on a dresser that's geared and marketed for kids. Um, they do make aftermarket rails uh, that you can buy and uh, install. Uh, not Delta, but other people do make aftermarket rails uh, that should fit into this, uh, that you could replace out all of the rail systems and put in soft stop rails. Um, and what that would do is, as you're pushing it, it'll get to about an inch away, it'll stop itself, and then it actually pulls itself in nice and slow. So, Delta, if you're watching this video, I uh, would make suggestions that on a future release of this particular model, or a future model of the Delta Bentley six drawer dresser, put soft stops in it. I mean, you, you guys went above and beyond providing the uh, wall anchor mount, uh, which secures the dresser to the wall, uh, preventing it from being uh, pulled over on a young child, especially that this dresser is heavy. Uh, you've seen at the very beginning of the, the video that this dresser weighs about 129 pounds. So uh, if a young kid started pulling on things or climbing on it um, and it fell over, that could hurt them. So uh, bravo goes and applause goes out to the wall anchor mount that you guys included. But you guys could have gone an extra step, uh, and it probably would have cost pennies on the dollar uh, to include soft stop rails uh, into all of the dresser. Um, so think about that if you are buying one of these for yourself uh, and you do have an interest in uh, soft stop rails, uh, measure out the rails after you get it uh, completed and uh, go down to uh, your local uh, hardware store. I know even Ikea sells soft stop rails and uh, take a set of the rails, see if they match up, see if they can be swapped out, and if so, uh, you can do a little upgrading to the uh, dresser yourself. If you found this video helpful and interesting and useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Tell all of your uh, friends and family who are having kids or are in research uh, for furniture for a kid's room and they're looking for quality furniture, not buying uh, junk furniture is what I call it. Um, this dresser is well worth the money spent, and for a small amount of time, about an hour by myself to install it and, and assemble it, uh, it wasn't hard at all. Uh, you, you even seen the oopsie, where I uh, forgot to install two panels in the back, and I was able to easily just loosen up a couple of the fasteners and get those panels in without any uh, complete disassembly of the unit, which was a big uh, breath of fresh air for me, because I really thought that I was going to have to disassemble the whole unit. but. I got those in place, so the dresser is completely assembled now. 
Um, again, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up, follow it, share it, tell all of your friends and family about Interface Webcast. We do videos on all kinds of topics. Uh, you've seen furniture here. Uh, we've got a bunch of product reviews coming up, a bunch of how-tos coming up. So you never know what you're going to find here at Interface Webcast, but it's always going to be interesting. So until next time, take care, Web World.